What I'm gonna tell you is exactly how it happened, more or less. I'd been following the suspect for months, keeping my distance, but staying close enough to smell the red wine and cigar smoke on him. The man was an artist, or as close to one as a two-bit good-for-nothing scumbag criminal can get. He really turned this town upside down. Who was he? What was he doing with that machine? Where was all this going? These are the questions that kept me up most nights. Uh, everybody asks me, why didn't you stop him sooner? Uh, these people don't understand police work. It's a complex process of gathering evidence, following leads, and trusting your gut. And my gut told me I was smack in the middle of the biggest case of my life. Hmm. When I found out what he was doing, I was both amazed and sick to my stomach. His machine took all the things he stole and distilled them into pure, authentic Italian design. I'd seen enough. It was time to put an end to the games and give this criminal exactly what he deserved. <laughs> Madness. The interrogation lasted for hours. Turns out he's a talker. I hate talkers. He kept babbling nonsense about amazing design and an honest price, how he needed to spread Italian attitude and sexiness across the world, how everybody deserved to live the good life. So I decided to talk to his partner instead. Piece of cake. The fat ones always squeal. He gave me the whole story. They ran a tight operation. Well, not tight enough to get past me. And I wish I could say the case was closed. The Garcia gang is still out there, giving people exactly what they want. There's no stopping what they started. Mm -hmm.